Good evening, boys and girls. There's a walrus in my bed. Have you ever had a walrus in your bed? I haven't. And it's by Sierra Flood. A walrus. Flynn was excited about sleeping in his new bed, but there was one rather large problem. Oh yeah, that's a large problem, all right. Mom, Dad, there's a walrus in my bed, said Flynn. You must have been dreaming, said Dad. But there really, really is. You know it's naughty to tell fibs, said Mom. Flynn sighed and went back to his bedroom. Flynn was trying to squeeze into the bed when he heard a very loud noise coming from the walrus's tummy. Rumble! Are you hungry? he asked walrus. Harumph, said walrus. Flynn wasn't sure what walruses liked to eat. He hoped it wasn't little children. Yeah, I'd say there's no room for him in that bed. Flynn, it's far too late for snacks, said Mom. But they're not for me. They're for Walrus, Flynn told her. Walrus ate all the snacks. He didn't seem hungry anymore, but he wasn't sleepy either. Ah, chew, sneezed Walrus. Do you have a cold, Flynn asked. Harumph, sniffled Walrus. I don't think I'd want to be sneezed on by a walrus. Flynn got some extra blankets. Walrus started to get hot and cranky. Oh dear, said Flynn, you must really be sick. Harumph, wheezed walrus. Well, he's trying to take care of them. Walrus isn't feeling well. He needs a glass of milk, said Flynn. Perhaps Walrus shouldn't have eaten all those snacks, Dad muttered. After drinking the milk, Walrus had to use the bathroom. I know you're a little nervous about your new bed, said Mom, but it's way past your bedtime. It's not me who won't go to sleep, grumbled Flynn. It's Walrus. Okay, walrus, that's enough messing around, said Flynn. I'm going to sing you to sleep. Harumph, said walrus, who still looked wide awake. Yeah, I think somebody else is wide awake too. Is is the room too dark? Harumph. Or too bright? Harumph. Are you scared of monsters? Harumph. Or do you have an itch you can't reach? Flynn had a long, hard think. Maybe what you really need is... Hmm. I wonder what he needs. Any ideas? A cuddle. Walrus closed his eyes and gave a great big yawn and finally fell asleep. 
Flynn snuggled down beside him. Oh, so he just needed a cuddle. But there was still one rather large problem. The bed just wasn't big enough for both of them. Flynn tiptoed into Mom and Dad's bedroom. Mom, Dad, he whispered, can Walrus sleep in your bed tonight? If we say yes, will you promise to go to sleep, asked Mom. Flynn nodded. Yes, they both shouted. Flynn stretched out in his soft, warm bed. Night-night, Walrus, he said. Harumph, said Walrus, and at last everyone could go to sleep. Well, almost everyone... <laughs> Mom and Dad don't fit in their bed either, do they? <laughs> they thought he was joking about the walrus. Oh, my goodness. Well, if you ever end up with the walrus in your bed, maybe you'll remember to suggest go to Mom and Dad's bed. Well, on that note, Good night, sleep tight, and happy dreams. Bye now.